Anthony Carboni, our, the, the host of this, is late. Very late. So we decided that instead of sitting together, I'm taking a seat. And also, every time we talk to him, we're going to touch his knee. Let's see how many times we can get away with it. This week on The Star Wars Show, Anthony sits down with John DiMaggio and Danny Jacobs. We discover some long-lost vintage Star Wars toys, and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hi, I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only show on the internet whose previous most popular comment of cringe has been dethroned by, where is the new trailer? Hashtag engagement. Demands, let's go to the news. <laughs> In what is becoming a running theme, Ron Howard, the internet's number one source for untitled Han Solo movie news, revealed that Paul Bettany has completed his work on the film. In a tweet, the director stated, had to say goodbye to my friend Paul Bettany today, another terrific performance from a world-class talent. But more importantly, what is this adorable little deer-like creature under the glass there? Right, his arms are all outstretched waiting for a hug, or sure enough, how big of a fish he caught. Who is this little cutie, Ron? Please. Tell us. Tell us, and do not steal our jobs, Ron Howard. You are doing well enough already. The untitled Han Solo movie will be in theaters May 25th, 2018. Star Wars Rebels is returning on Monday, October 16th to Disney XD, and this season, lots of new episodes will be broadcast back to back through November 13th. New episodes air five times a day on Mondays at 12.33 and 7.30 a.m., with evening showings at 5.30 and 9 p.m. Additional information, including the episode titles and rollout plan, can be found right now on StarWars.com. John Hamm has been cast as Boba Fett's voice in a new audiobook entitled From a Certain Point of View, 40 Stories Celebrating 40 Years of Star Wars. Ham is joined by Battlefront 2's Janina Gavankar, Ashley Eckstein, Neil Patrick Harris, January Lavoy, and more. The unabridged audiobook for From a Certain Point of View, as well as the hardcover and ebook versions will be released on October 3rd. Finally this week, Science and Star Wars, my new weekly show began airing. In it, Anthony got to make a lightsaber, kind of, and spoilers, got to go full Qui-Gon on a fire door with Ezra Bridger. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. You can watch Science and Star Wars with IBM right now on our Facebook page. And for more breaking news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. I've got John DiMaggio and Danny Jacobs here with me. Ram and Bash from Lego Star Wars, the Freemaker yeah. Adventures. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Good to be here. Good to be here to start some trouble. I get to start the trouble. You get, I get to start the trouble. You, you get started out of my, it you, last no, time. No, you started it last time. And we had real trouble. No, no, Anthony, that's tell it. Him. No, no, tell I'm him. telling you. This is exactly what I love about you guys on the show. I'm telling you, man. It's one of those things where when we get in a room together and like you have a rapport with these actors that you've worked with before. I think it's report. Sorry. Is it report? Yeah, sorry. That's cold-blooded, man. They can edit Rep that out. Report. Don't worry. They'll edit I it out. I said report. The, the <laughs> thing is that we've been working together for a while now, so that when, we, when they brought us in the room, it was just bam. I would go collect trash with John. Yeah. I mean, anything. Yeah, totally. But to have it be on such a fun, well Like hypothetically, show, or you two no, like, would go on break and go collect trash together? No, no, we could Yeah, we could totally like take a shift. So Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Star Wars, great uh, stuff. <laughs> wonderful Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Wars. Does it take you by surprise to be part of something? Like when you meet the fans, they're like, oh, this is a huge thing. I had no idea how huge this was. Some, sometimes, I mean, I'm, John has experienced a lot more than I have, but I have one fan. And she's fantastic. Yeah, she's great. And uh, we've become pretty close, but she, you know, she's she the one laying downstairs you, for you. No, she's no, 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 no. I don't have fans that live in state. Okay. I try to make sure I yeah. only have fans <laughs> no. that I can't have yeah. personal physical contact. No. But I'll give you an example, and this is on a serious tip. Sometimes things that you maybe over time take for granted, like shows we've worked on together, even this show. And you'll be going to Comic Con. Are you familiar with Comic Con at all? Uh, it's a, I've heard small. It's a Up gathering. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Uh, there's people that, and it's a you Southern know, California thing. And so, it's, it's, it's oh. yeah. John is the mayor of Comic Con. Yeah. Just so you know. Are you? Oh yeah, I, I show up. He walks around. He's kissing I, I babies, got, got shaking a, hands. A, nerds carry me around on a on a thing. Like it's it's great. And then yeah. and then there's a marching band behind. Does your does your like, does your like Deus run into like Tudix Deus oh, sometimes? Oh yeah. No, Jams it up. his his he rolls right over. My thing. Like, <laughs> excuse me. Can uh, you please oh, oh. get on the same <laughs> foot? <laughs> God, isn't he brilliant? 
talented, but brilliant. Sometimes a, a fan will come up and you're just having fun on the show. You, you're you're happy to make a living on it. But someone will come up and say, you know what? That really got me through a really, and they'll tell you what the really tough time was. You know, maybe it does bring a lot of joy to people, even though we're sometimes, you know, you forget that and you just think, hey, we're just goofing around in front of a microphone and they go and make this magical show out of it. For some people, it really does touch their lives in a way that you couldn't have expected and it's really moving. Yeah, it's, it's pretty that's cool. That's amazing, guys. It's amazing icing on an already fantastic cake. Yeah, so. what flavor is your cake? It's golden on the inside, it's yellow batter. Right. Mm -hmm. With the chocolate layers. That's pretty dope. And that's a good cake. Frosting. That's it's a good, good cake. Nice. You know, you gotta, it's got to be you know, moist. Minus? What is yours? Carrot. Carrot that's cake. As long cake. as the, uh, the frosting, the cream cheese frosting is not too sweet. No, yeah, you exactly. Gotta have the balance, you got to right? have a little tiny bit of tart on it. And you got to actually know there's carrots in there. And really finely chopped walnuts and raisins. Do you like raisins? I'm with you. Love raisins. Good. Guys, thank you so much for coming here and talking about Star Wars and only Star Wars with me. We Star decided before you got here, that I was gonna sit in your seat and not give it up, and also to touch your knee as much as possible. Did is this you, a power play? Yeah, it was Are a total- Are you power playing me, totally, John DiMaggio? We totally got you. I got you. haze. This is I your dorm, seat, dude. I dorm boy, this I got is, haze. No, no. This is your seat. Do you know what? This is, I'm giving it up now. <laughs> no, it's too late now. Podcast. No, now it's the I end feel of the podcast. See, now, 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 oh, see, now he's gonna switch it. Did you just call my show a podcast? No. This is fully sealed. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Hi, I'm Max. This is Lucas, and we are here at one of Lucasfilm's top secret storage units full of all kinds of cool stuff, including a bunch of vintage toys. Lucas, let's go root through some junk. Oh boy. Gamorrean Bendems. What happened in this box <laughs> that one of these has the yellow bubble and the other is just crystal clear? This is a huge thing for collectors, is the fact that that's an unpunched card. Unpunched, yeah. yes indeed. So that will frequently make hundreds of dollars difference in terms of collector value. I think we got another Kenner box here. This I'm is sealed, sealed. Some kind of... Don't cross the stream. <gasps> there we go. No! Oh, there's a find. That's an Ewok battle wagon. Fans still like to theorize and say that maybe this is a Bantha skull. Oh. The battle wagon might be sort of a deep cut, but I think here's something that everyone can get behind. This is one of my favorite Star Wars toys ever made, hands down. This is a pretty faithful Rancor. I think I might see something over here as well. Mm-hmm. If you need to uh, get a hold of somebody yeah. in 1985. Now, a lot of preschoolers were trying to do business in the 80s, and so they got a lot of kids, you know, they're calling up the, the stock market, the Wall Street, doing lots of calls from the Wicket phone. Oh, yes. This is a very, very special toy. This was the most expensive Kenner vehicle released. It cost just about $30 in 1978, 79. This is a holy grail. Now these are incredibly rare. Uh, we only have this box and then an entire other full box here. This was actually the very first A-Wing in 1985. They hadn't made an A-Wing toy up to that point. So very quickly, they became sought after. That's just a tiny bit of the incredibly cool stuff they've got boxed up there. I can't wait to come back, and I think they'll let us, because his name is Lucas. Last week, we asked you to share your favorite vintage Star Wars toys with us. Almost as if we planned on running the vintage toys edition of Salvagers of the Lost Art in this episode. Huh, it's weird. Very. It's like we plan things. Hmm. But anyway, tons of you shared your favorites, including Nails Rever's ESB Yoda puppet, John Whitmer's beat up B-Wing pilot, and at Writing Dreamers, who has locked this poor Boba Fett in a closet for the last 26 years. That's okay, Boba Fett is very good at slowly crawling his way out of dark places. At Space Boy G shared an R2 who has seen better days and now uses a pen cap to stand. Lee Gordon's son loves his dancing Jar Jar, but not as much as we do. And while not vintage, Al Novotsky shared a picture of his daughter watching the greatest Emmy nominated web series of all time, sitting in what is bound to be a highly sought after collectible Porg chair. Porgs, your chair's now, and that child has great taste. Mm -hmm. And with that, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and download the Star Wars app. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you. A Porg can be anything. That's the thing about Porgs. It's their can-do spirit, their giant glassy eyes, and their weird downturn mouths.
No, Anthony, that's it. No, no. I'm telling you. Anyway, game within a plugged in. Bill and Bob go down to the. When he says he goes down, he goes down to like Australia. Yeah, yeah. Can I get the Those trucks have cameras. No, but like I didn't know. Left hand user. Yeah, that's a phone. Car, car, car. Pam Dauber. You know what I'm saying? Southern California thing. And it's and it's carrot cake. You like raisins? I'm with. Love raisins.